trigonometry compass directions. We're used to the two-dimensional plane where we think about the y-axis and the x-axis, one being vertical and the other horizontal, and this point being 3-3, three, 3 three across and 3 up. But before the xy, for navigation, they were using north-south, west and east for directions, still in use. The one difference though, this point here, 3-3, three, three, is not out first and then up, but north first and then east. The issue here is we're used to talking about the northeast wind. We don't talk about the east-north or the sunny southwest. We don't say the west-south. So the first direction from the origin is to go vertically, north or south, and then east or west. So this point here is 4 north and 3 west. This point here, to get to here from the origin, you first go south, 2, and then 4 west. And the values are always positive because there's no need for pluses and minuses. They're in the directions north, south, east, and west. So how do we define a direction then? Well, let's take this point here. We're at naught naught going to 3, 3, typically going in the direction of 45 degrees, the same amount out as we are going up. We would call that angle 45, halfway between naught and 90 in the first quadrant. The second quadrant is from 90 to 180, then to 270, and then back to naught or to 360. That's how we define that. But from a navigation point of view, how do we define that in terms of north-south? Well, we must go north first, and then we turn from the north a certain angle towards the east. In this case, we go north 45 degrees east. So the first direction is to move north vertically, then to the right, in this case east, so they're the two dimensions, north first, then 45 degrees towards the east. And that defines that direction equally, the 45 degrees would define it as well. So let's look at another example. Here's an example of an angle all the way down here in the third quadrant, starting at naught. It's the angle 206.56. Because it's between 180 and 270, it's in the third quadrant, and it's all that direction there. But how do we get there? Well, from a navigation point of view, the first direction would be to go south because it's below the east-west axis. So we go south and then turn towards the west. So here we have a turning towards the west. So the first direction is south. Then we go 63 degrees to the west to go back to the angle 206.56.